for the soul to be stalking you, stalking, spying, watching from a distance. Looks like someone's wanting to communicate with you. But they're doing a lot of research. Say, you have clarity coming in. This is someone who you make very, very happy. They know you're their happiness. So there is some clarity that's coming in for you, okay? So, yeah. If you're in love communication with someone, don't be fooled. They're watching you. They're stalking you. You could have had some love. They're watching you from a fake account, dummy account, whatever. But someone's keeping an eye on you. They're keeping tabs on you. Yep, someone wants to make sure it happen with you, with the magician. Two of cups, you have a relationship coming in. This is you and them, absolutely in love with each other, okay? Maybe there was a fallout, okay, between you guys. Agreed. Maybe you guys are not seeing eye to eye, but there's still a lot of love here. I'm not gonna lie. The magician, this is someone who's hell-bent on making things happen with you. They're manifesting you. Either you could be manifesting them, they could be manifesting you, but I think there's at least one person who's wanting to manifest this connection back with me, okay? Well, see, two cards are being silent, like I just said, right? No communication. You're giving them the silent treatment, okay? It's working. You're doing what? It's working. You're giving them silent treatment. This is someone who's a secret keeper, right? You literally know. You probably even know they're checking you out. You know that. And with the Four of Swords, yeah, I guess you're not ready to talk. But again, I feel that there is, like I said, right? There's no communication. But this is someone who's just like, you know, um, there's silent activity going on, okay? Lack of action. Keeping quiet about things. I think you're thinking about something. Or someone's giving something time. Eight of Pentacles. There's someone here who's wanting to put in the effort. But again, there's a lot of quietness between you guys, you know. I don't think you guys are talking yet. They want to talk to you. They're watching you, like I said. They're thinking, planning, you know. But you are giving them that, you know, that radio silence treatment. Ace of Wands, they want a brand new beginning with you. This person wants a brand new beginning with you, a clean slate. Like I said, right? Things could have been off between you guys. For the moon here, there could have been a lot of secrets, okay? A lot of hidden agendas, a lot of suppressing of emotions, okay? But someone's trusting that intuition, but at the same time, there's a lot of things that you feel you don't know about. You probably are clueless about what things are, and that could be one of the reasons why you're still... Uh, everything's under wraps is what I'm getting, okay? Again, I'm getting that very strong feeling of you guys are just not talking to each other. One person is talking, could be you, could be them, could be both of you. You know how the energy works, right? But the other person knows that this is all happening. I guess, you know what I'm getting? You're trying to teach this person a lesson. You're trying to teach this person a lesson. Because you're keeping quiet. You're literally waiting for this person to make a move towards you, okay? And with the magician, I think they are. But otherwise, it could also be you. The time priestess, that's a magician with that double, triple superpower, you know. Practicing that strong law of attraction, trying to manifest them back by keeping to yourself, sticking to your goals, doing you, you know, and uh, keeping quiet. They're watching you, like I said, they're coming in towards you. Tell me more. Three of Swords, you're hurting big time. You're hurting big time. This person wants to come in and heal the connection. They want to make things happen with you. Someone's hurting badly, like I said. The separation, breakup. This could be someone who's living at a distance from you with a chariot here. They want to travel towards you. Okay? They're very willing, very determined to make shit happen with you. But you, on the other hand, I guess for you, it's like either you come and correct towards me till then we're not talking or i'm just not interested you, you know what i feel like you're in that very i'm unattainable kind of mode you know like you can't get to me and if you want to get to me i don't want no page no no knight i want a king and if you're not going to be that king coming towards me i don't even want to look at you you stay where you are you know because whatever this person did to you right with the three of swords it was very painful it was very hurtful could have put you in a third party situation Again, a third party situation does not have to be another romantic side, doesn't have to be a three, uh, um, a third person. It could be something that is external, 
to this relationship that is interfering in this relationship or there is something that they let uh, something that they let come between you both okay so whatever it could be a job it could be a place it could be their parents opinions ego fear anything fear of commitment whatever right but yeah i think they want to heal they want to recover the connection okay and they want a reconciliation period the knight of swords they're coming in they're coming in like i said in a rush and they're in a rush dude they want to come and talk to you now from the page they're going to the night i like that very much because they are very very disappointed okay they have a lot of remorse i'm getting that huge element of guilt here they're feeling very guilty about whatever happened in the past and they want to come in to make things right they feel they can make things right okay maybe you're dealing with someone who's single okay who uh, was very manipulative someone who used a lot of manipulation you know around the situation they always had a trick up their sleeve always wearing a fake mask okay they always had something uh, you probably always thought that they were always hiding something very secretive person you know you probably they would never like an open book in front of you but now they're coming in to give you the clarity because they're regretting what they did they come in to give you clarity but yeah it's going to be quick communication okay it's going to be like from nowhere so right now they're taking their own time if they haven't come in yet they're watching you taking their own time Whilst you sit here nice on your throne and waiting for this guy to come in to take action towards you. And guess what? They're coming in. They're coming in. Why does the silent treatment always work? I love it. But listen, it always works if you're the one who's on, uh, who's always been on the receiving end. Okay. So if you're the one who screwed things, up, screwed things up and you're being in your ego, you know, and you're like waiting for this person to come in like, you know, like the five of swords kind of energy, it's not going to work out. Okay. So yeah. Cross waters of whoever this is, right? I'm gonna read this for see the four. They wanna take a risk with you. They wanna take the sleep of faith. Maybe earlier this person was not sure if they wanted to take the sleep of faith with you. They had like more leaps of doubt actually. If they thought you were risky business, they had trust issues probably. See, like I said, right? Three of swords, there could be a third element which was coming between you guys. They had used trust issues. They didn't know if you were trustworthy material or they didn't know if taking this risk with you was going to be worthy. Like always questioning themselves like, is it worth the risk? Okay. Is she worth the risk? Is he worth the risk? Etc. You could have given them your all. But now you're like, you know what? I'm just going to step back and I'm just going to watch. You're just going to sit back nice and tight, pretty on your throne. And you're just going to watch what this person is going to do if you back out. And with the six of swords, they wanted to come in towards you. They want to move towards you with clarity okay and that clarity is coming in too so yeah what i was saying is that that silent treatment works only when you are the one who's on the right path okay if you're the one who's done a lot for this person and this person fails to reci reciprocate okay more well, than the silent treatment should work okay if you're the one who's been done wrong too wow page of wands i'm getting two things here i'm getting this as another story here I'm feeling you're going to contemplate on whether you want something new or whether you still want this person. Two of pentacles, right? Clarity, indecision. I feel you're weighing your pros and cons. You're still not sure. Very like wishy-washy when this person comes in. They want all this with you. They communicate. They're, they're communicating with you. They're going to make this happen. They want to make this happen. Okay, they're very confident about this. They have that willpower, that aggression to make this happen. They want the brand new beginning. Okay, but you on the other hand, right? I mean, probably this person's coming out of isolation and trying to talk to you. But you on the other hand, you're giving them this cold, silent treatment. Okay. It's like, you know what? I'm like, literally, I, I'm getting like, you're going to just wait for them to like, just sit out there and like, regret, regret and guilt, you know, like of what they made you go through because that three of swords energy is nasty. Okay. It's really painful. I just feel that you are probably contemplating on whether you want this person back or whether you want something brand new. Okay. Whether you want to pursue a new person, whether you want to open the gates to, uh, or open up your options to something new, something like that. But I don't know if you're still going to give this person a chance it definitely looks like you're wanting something new yep knight of pentacles you know what i'm getting you're probably could be two people okay we have a lot of people out here we're at the page of swords okay so this and this looks like the same people to me one two three that looks like different people to me, okay? Definitely looks like you're the one who's taking your time, okay? To probably want something new, like I said, right? Where she was, she not sure if you still want this person back, contemplating. 
And with the Knight of Pentacles, you're, I think you're very, very focused on your work, your career, your goals. You're very focused on your routine. You know, people are literally seeing you working, uh, being very focused on your routine, etc. Okay, with the judgment here, someone wants a second chance with you. But I don't see you uh, looking at this person, okay? I see you more focused on yourself, okay? Like, maybe you've started a new business. Maybe you have a new idea. Maybe there's someone else that you have feelings for. And you're wanting to slowly move towards that person, okay? Probably you're moving towards someone else who's giving you stability. Or probably you're concentrating on something else that you're passionate about and you want to convert your passion into business. Or there's someone else that you're getting those feelings for, okay? And you're wanting to move that into something more stable. But I definitely don't see you looking at the person who's watching you and wanting to communicate and who you've had an ending with probably, who wants this brand new beginning with you. Because look, the high priest is right here in the middle, you know, and there is like one side here and one side here. So let me know, Virgo. I'm a little, com I'm a little confused here. I feel this is you, you know, this side is you. Again, moving towards something new, being very, very routine, you know, like in that daily grind of yours, you know, back into work, back into business. There is no focus that you have on this person right now. This person is just not your focus. And because they're not your focus, now you have become their focus, okay? Once you pursue something very, very different. And it's like literally I feel you're moving out of this person's life, taking baby steps towards something uh, more stable, more committed. Maybe you're not just rushing out of this person's life. You're still in that thought process, okay? You haven't walked out, walked out as yet, okay? But when this person comes in, I have a feeling you are going to be very dicey. I don't see you giving that a straight yes or a straight no. You're probably going to be in that um, yes, no kind of energy, you know? With the judgment here, they don't want a second chance with you. But yeah, see again, six of swords, you're probably wanting to move on from this person, you know, you want to move forward. Maybe you have the clarity that you need. Probably once this person comes in with the knight of swords, maybe they're going to tell you what they really want. But by the time they come in and tell you what they want, maybe you don't want it anymore, you know. With the judgment, you're, you're, you're listening to your higher calling. Maybe this is what the universe kept telling you to go and move on. It was like a forced departure, you know, something was forced on you. You were forced to move on from this person. And now that you're moving on slowly, this person is coming back towards you, okay? And they're hell-bent. They're hell-bent on making it happen with you. So, yeah, that's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Those feelings for, okay? And you're wanting to move that into something more stable. But I definitely don't see you looking at the person who's watching you and wanting to communicate and who you've had an ending with, probably. Who wants this brand new beginning with you? Because look, the high priest is right here in the middle, you know. And there is like one side here and one side here. So let me know, Virgo. I'm a little com I'm a little confused here. I feel this is you, you know. This side is you. Again, moving towards something new. Being very, very routine, you know. Like in that daily grind of yours, you know. Back into work, back into business. There is no focus that you have on this person right now. This person is just not your focus. And because they're not your focus, now you have become their focus, okay? Once you pursue something very, very different. And it's like literally I feel you're moving out of this person's life, taking baby steps towards something uh, more stable, more committed. Maybe you're not just rushing out of this person's life. You're still in that thought process, okay? You haven't walked out, walked out as yet, okay? But when this person comes in, I have a feeling you are going to be very dicey. I don't see you giving that a straight yes or a straight no. You're probably going to be in that um, yes, no kind of energy, you know. With the judgment here, they don't want a second chance with you. But yeah, see again, six of swords, you're probably wanting to move on from this person, you know. You want to move forward. Maybe you have the clarity that you need. Probably once this person comes in with the knight of swords, maybe they're going to tell you what they really want. But by the time they come in and tell you what they want, maybe you don't want it anymore, you know. With the judgment, you're, you're, you're listening to your higher calling. Maybe this is what the universe kept telling you to go and move on. It was like a forced departure, you know, something was forced on you. You were forced to move on from this person. And now that you're moving on slowly, this person is coming back towards you, okay? And they're hell-bent. They're hell-bent on making it happen with you. So, yeah, that's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Those feelings for, okay? And you're wanting to move that into something more stable. But I definitely don't see you looking at the person who's watching you and wanting to communicate and who you've had an ending with probably, who wants this brand new beginning with you. Because look, the high priest is right here in the middle, you know, and there is like one side here and one side here. 
So let me know, Virgo. I'm a little com. I'm a little confused here. I feel this is you. You know, this side is you. Again, moving towards something new, being very, very routine. You know, like in that daily grind of yours. You know, back into work, back into business. There is no focus that you have on this person right now. This person is just not your focus, and because they're not your focus, now you have become their focus. Okay. Once you pursue something very, very different, and it's like literally, I feel you're moving out of this person's life, taking baby steps towards something. Uh, more stable, more committed. Maybe you're not just rushing out of this person's life. You're still in that thought process. Okay, you haven't walked out, walked out as yet. Okay, but when this person comes in, I have a feeling you are going to be very dicey. I don't see you giving that a straight yes or a straight no. You're probably going to be in that um, yes no kind of energy. You know, with the judgment here, they don't want a second chance with you. But yeah, see again, six of swords. You're probably wanting to move on from this person. You know, you want to move forward. Maybe you have the clarity that you need. Probably once this person comes in with the Knight of Swords, maybe they're going to tell you what they really want. But by the time they come in and tell you what they want, maybe you don't want it anymore. You know, but the judgment you're 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 listening to your higher calling. Maybe this is what the universe kept telling you to go and move on. It was like a forced departure. You know, something was forced on you. You were forced to move on from this person, and now that you're moving on slowly, this person is coming back towards you. Okay, and they're hell bent. They're hell bent on making it happen with you. So yeah. That's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Those feelings were okay, and you're wanting to move that into something more stable. But I definitely don't see you looking at the person who's watching you and wanting to communicate, and who you've had an ending with, probably who wants this brand new beginning with you. Because look, the high priest is right here in the middle, you know, and there is like one side here and one side here. So let me know, Virgo. I'm a little com. I'm a little confused here. I feel this is you. You know, this side is you. Again, moving towards something new, being very, very routine. You know, like in that daily grind of yours. You know, back into work, back into business. There is no focus that you have. On